Oh, tup, 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 tup. okay. <laughs> Tell me he's attacking. No, 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 Dodo, 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 Dodo. Where's the Dodo? No, he took my Dodo. What the hell's that? No, 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 no. Okay. Wow, I killed him right away. Uh. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel, and guys, welcome back to Ark Survival Ascended. Now guys, before getting into this one, I do have a couple of announcements for you. I just want to give you guys a heads up that I'm actually not only using a brand new mic, I'm also now using OBS, which I personally have no experience with. So if you guys don't mind, let me know down in the comments, how's the video quality looking? How's the audio quality? Good, bad, and different. I want to hear it all. So please let me know down in the comments. That would be greatly appreciated. But guys, I do also have a big announcement and... It has to do with the channel name. Uh, we're actually going to be changing the channel name here, and I'm really excited about this, and I think you guys are too. Uh, long story short, a couple days ago, I put a poll out asking you if you guys prefer the current channel name, Seafar Plays, or do you guys prefer the old channel name, Start to Finish Gaming? And guys, first of all, thank you so much for all your feedback. At the time of recording, we have already over 100 votes on this, and that's mind-blowing. I've never had that many people get involved in a poll, so guys, really appreciate all your feedback. But I was really surprised to find out that two-thirds of you actually prefer Start to Finish Gaming over CFAR Plays, which I've really found interesting. And Overall, guys, I've decided we're actually going to be switching the channel name back to Start to Finish Gaming. So if it hasn't happened yet, it will be happening in the next few days. You'll start seeing the transitioning and everything like that. But I'm really excited with this change. I hope you guys are too. And I'm really excited to be back here on YouTube and uh, to be able to make content and everything again. So guys, without further ado, let's get into it. Really excited to start out a new adventure here on Arcs of Apple Ascended. But guys, to get started, of course, we're going to go ahead, pick up some stone. We're going to get some fiber. We're going to get some wood, the whole nine. We're going to start uh, building up our character here a little bit. But we also do need to track down a dino or two. Let's get out that out of the way right at the start. Because if you guys remember, when ASA first came out, dinos were spawning in increments of four. And I hear a dodo. There you are. Dinos were spawning in increments of four. And of course, it was a bit of a workaround. Uh, level 15. <gasps> it's working. They finally fixed it. Absolutely awesome. Uh, but long story short, guys, when ASA first came out, uh, dinos were spawning in increments of four. So four, eight, 12, 16, all the way up to max level 120. And if you wanted your dinos to spawn in increments of five, there was a bit of a workaround and everything. But it looks like they went ahead and fixed it, which is absolutely awesome. But guys, if you are still experiencing this problem, if your dinos are only spawning in increments of four and you want them to spawn in increments of five in the right hand corner right about now will be a video that I put out a little bit ago and uh yeah I've gotten a lot of positive feedback about it. a lot of people said that this worked so if you are still having this problem take a look at that video and hopefully it helps you out but yeah that's the first thing I'm really excited that they that they went ahead and made this change because that was really <laughs> frustrating when ASA first came out but 15 awesome we're looking good second thing is guys ASA looks absolutely awesome in my opinion especially running on the Xbox Series X, but there is one thing that I'm not a fan of, and that is the clouds. I don't know what it is. I am just not a fan of the clouds here on console because I've watched a couple of other YouTubers that are on PCs and everything, and the clouds look awesome. They look amazing, but not so much on console. I don't know what it is. I just, I'm not a fan of them. It's just adding this like bloom and brightness that's not necessary. And like, I don't know, it just looks a little faded and washed out in my opinion. So we're going to get rid of them. In order to get rid of them, if you guys want to do this, you just press start console command, and you're going to put in this command here, which is R dot volumetric cloud zero. And by doing this, well, it gets rid of the clouds. And in my opinion, it just makes the game look so much clearer, cleaner, crisper. But you guys can let me know in the comments down below. Do you guys prefer the clouds or do you guys not prefer the clouds? We would be really interested to see what uh, your take is on that, guys. But like I said, we're going to start out here. Really excited to get back into this. And uh, of course, guys, you guys know I'm not a fan of punching trees. I don't know what it is. I'm not a fan of like first gathering materials this way and everything. And I've always said they need to do what they did on Ragnarok in, in Ark Survival Ascended. They also did it on Fjorder, where along the beaches you can find like branches and stuff. And 
I'm not going to say it was because of me, because I have a feeling a lot of other people had this opinion too, uh, but they did go ahead and actually add branches, which is really cool. But, you know, you guys know me. I'm going to jokingly gripe a little bit more about this. The fact that the area that I always spawn in, which is this area, this is South Zone 1, uh, there's not a lot of branches that you can pick up here. This is actually one of the most... I was going to say dense. No, it's the opposite of dense. Uh, the most limited amount of branches that you can pick up on the ground in any starting area, which I was like, really? <laughs> really? We're really going this route? But anyways, uh, yeah, this is what you're looking for on the beach. If you don't want to go ahead and pick up, uh, if you don't want to go ahead and punch the trees or anything, you can go ahead and pick these up. And we got a Spino here. Wonderful. Okay. <laughs> uh, I am going to venture down just a little bit more. Hopefully we got enough thatch. We have nine. Okay, I think I'm going to have to swallow my pride here, guys. Because, yeah, I'm not going on that side. Now, I know there's a couple branches over there, but I'm going to just go a little bit further. If I don't see any more branches, I'm going to swallow my pride and uh, go ahead and just punch a tree. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. Because you know what? That, that guy's going to kill us, and then he's going to be able to be in this area, and I don't want that. So, we'll punch the tree right here. Uh, no, 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 no. He's starting to move a little closer. Go, 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 go. <laughs> uh, okay, well... I already had an idea of a first base location, but we might not be able to do it anymore because of that Spino. So we'll kind of have to readjust on the run here. Uh, what level are you? Okay, so you're level 55. Cool. We got to keep an eye on all the dinos in this area because if we can get our first tame over here, that would be absolutely awesome. There we go. Two wood. We can make our first tool. Let's go ahead and make the pick. And uh, yeah, let's talk about settings and stuff like that for this series, uh, because obviously that's something that a lot of people want to know about. Like, oh, what are your settings and all that kind of stuff? So, of course, we're going to do the same XP that we've always done in every series, which is the staggered XP. If you guys aren't familiar with this uh, from levels one to level 25, I do 0.25 XP uh, from level 25 to level 50. I do 0.5 XP from level 50 to level 75. I do 0.75 XP. And then finally, level 75 and on, we will finally be at official at 1.0. Now, why do I do that? If you guys have followed the channel before, you know the reason for this. But in case there are any new viewers that are like, well, why not keep it at official kind of thing? Uh, well, I'm going to tell you. So long story short, I'm not a fan of the 1.0 start because you level so quickly, in my opinion. And there's a lot of people out there, including myself, that really like the early game, really like that struggle of being vulnerable where a Spino can kill. Hell, a Carbo can kill us. You know what I mean? Anything can kill us right now because we're extremely, extremely vulnerable. And I like that part of Ark. I'm not not that I'm not a fan of it, but I prefer the early game over the end game. And I think there's a lot of you out there that agree with me with that. But yeah. That's just overall the reason. So I like to slow down the early game and basically, yeah, just kind of torture myself <laughs> for lack of better term, of course. But uh, yeah, so long story short, that's why I do the slow XP and everything. And by the time we're fully leveled up, we have ourselves a pretty good base. We have ourselves pretty good dinos and stuff. That's when we can get back into official and everything like that uh, when it comes to XP. But of course... When we ascend and all that kind of stuff and move over to other maps and all that, we may end up pushing that a little bit further from 1.0, maybe to 1.5, maybe to 2, depending on the levels and stuff. But we'll figure that out in due time. I'm not really too worried about it right now. Uh, but for right now, guys, I'm going ahead and just basically picking up everything off the ground just so we can start gathering some berries for potentially maybe even getting our first team in today's episode. Uh, definitely a ton of fiber. That's something we're really going to need. Uh... And yeah, basically just the early game start. We all love it. Uh, some of us hate it, but most of us love it. So let's go ahead and make 10 spears. I like to always have the most amount of spears on my character at all times, especially in early game, because yeah, you never want to be in that situation that you have a couple of raptors after you and you run out of spears, you know? So uh, let's go ahead and get that maxed out. We're going to drop that down to the third slot. If you guys don't know this either, in South Zone 1, and I believe in the other regions, if you find these, this is specifically... Huh? Really? I thought this was just specifically fiber, but I guess not. Okay, well, scratch that, guys. If you guys are looking specifically for fiber 100%, uh, jump into the water. 
And the reason is, after we get this level that we're going to put into weight yet again, yeah, guys, we're going to rock weight for a while at this point. Uh, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Okay, I don't have enough points, so we're going to hold on to those uh, 10 engram points. Once you jump into the water here, and we're going to go into first person to make this easier, go for this right here. Go for this, because... Oh my god, really? Are we doing this right now, game? <laughs> I know this works. Come on. Come on. Don't make me look like a fool. Why is it not letting me grab this? I 100% know you can grab this. Alright, let's get out of the water for a second. Let's try this again. <laughs> uh, maybe that water specifically. No, that should work. I've done it here. We're going to try it one more time. Okay. Maybe I wasn't close enough. Maybe it's not this area. All right, let's go a little further down and test this out again. Long story... Nope. Nope, that's stone. Long story short, you should be able to grab some of the stuff, and that'll give you a ton of fiber. Uh, we'll take a look down here, though. Maybe it's just the section I'm in. Maybe I'm just not remembering it correctly. But yeah, let's, uh, let's go further down. I know I'm going to be over-explaining a lot of things, guys, so I do apologize, but uh, there might be some of you that never have played Arcs of Avalis Ascended, and this might be your first time jumping into the game and everything, so I just want to give a couple tips along the way, of course. And, uh, yeah, for most of you, you know more than me in this game, honestly, let's be honest. But, you know, I do like to try to uh, teach you guys a thing or two along the way, if, uh, if there's anything that I can teach, you know? Let's jump in this water, let's see if this works. But, yeah, you guys were all right. Oh, no. We're out of spam. Oh, God. Get over, get over, get over, get over, get over, get over, get over. Okay, good. Whew. Okay. Please don't come after me. Okay, you know what? Screw it. Yeah, we can do this. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. What level are you? <laughs> Usually a headshot does that no problem. Wow. Level 25. Interesting. All right. Well, there's our there's our first bit of ha of the blue bit of whoa. Okay, that threw me off. I was gonna say a little bit of hatch, uh, a little bit of hide, and we have a baby over there, so we'll be able to get a little bit more hide from that too. Maybe we'll have that hang out because eh, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Let's jump back into the water here and try this again. Hopefully, there we go. I wasn't lying to you guys. I swear. Look at this. Yeah, you can get a ton of fiber just by jumping into the water at certain spots. And yeah, look at this. This doesn't look any different than the other than the other friggin' uh Oh no, that's a shell. Uh it doesn't look like it it looks like the same damn thing we saw on the other side. I don't know. <laughs> like I said, maybe there's just certain spots. Uh you might be mutated. No, you're not. No, you're just you're just a baby. Alright, um I'm not gonna kill you. I'm not that evil. I'm not gonna kill you yet. If we're gonna tame something that does need meat, oh, there's compies. Now, if there's a high level compy here, all right, you're level 10, you're a 115, and you're a 35. All right, let's start stabbing away here. We'll get a little bit of XP from you guys. All right, that's the first one down. I don't know what it is. Uh, if you guys notice, it's given off this like weird, dusty kind of like thing here, and I don't know if I like it. I don't know if that's new or not either, because I feel like that used to not be a thing. But it's almost like the same animation where if you're hitting a rock, like that little dust comes off. But you're getting it when you're attacking creatures. And I don't know if I like that or not, but I don't know. Oh, there's a baby compy too. Nah, you know what? It's fine. Like I said, if we end up uh, going ahead and taming something that does need meat... Then yeah, we'll go ahead and kill the babies, but I'm not just going to do it unnecessarily. Let's go ahead, uh, cloth pants, cloth shirt, cloth gloves, cloth boots, and cloth hat. Cool. All right. Can we make everything now? That would be great if we could. And perfect. Looks like we can. Uh, while we're at it, one, two, and we'll repair you guys along the way too. Okay. Now, on top of that, too, let's go over a couple of other settings. I know we're jumping around, guys. I do apologize. Uh, we went over XP, uh, which is pretty much the same as I've always done in every series, so that's nothing new. But a couple of new things that I've done is, first of all, I have actually changed my harvesting from 1 to 1.5 is what we usually do. I've went ahead and just rounded up to 2. 
Uh, we're on single player and everything. We're by ourselves, so I think it's just better at the end of the day to let's just get it up to two, and it might make it a little bit easier for us, but uh, we'll see what happens. It's still going to be a bit of a grind, guys. Another thing I do want to mention is I do apologize if I'm jumping from third person to first person and back and forth. When I'm not attacking or in combat, I do like to be in third person just to kind of get an idea of what's around us. But then once we get into combat or when we're thinking to get into combat, I'll switch it over to first person. That's just what I prefer, especially when throwing spears. I don't like this whole idea in third person. I don't know. Just me. I don't know. But... So it might get a little confusing and a little wonky for you guys. For that, I apologize. I'm going to do the best I can to try to not make it as drastic as possible. And you guys will be seeing a lot of the wheel and everything, so keep that in mind. <laughs> uh, but we're going to go ahead and tack this uh, Dillo here just to get us a little bit of XP. I don't know what level you are. That It's because it's scared. No, I'm kidding. There we go. Didn't even get a headshot either. It stinks. There we go, 35. Okay. Give me my damn spears back. I do like that blue. I gotta say, they actually came out with a ton of crazy colors on the dinos. And guys, I'm not using any mods to get additional colors or anything. These are all vanilla. The only quote-unquote mod that I'm running right now is the uh, Gigantoraptor, or whatever the heck it's called. Uh, just because that has been added to the island with all of the wonderful center news and all that. We're not really going to get into that too much, but, um, but yeah, so I've actually added that into this series, so... Uh, we will be using mods. I'm not going to make this a modless series, but, you know, I'll kind of talk about them as I bring them in and everything. I'm going to try to make them. I'm not going to bring in a crazy dino or anything right now because I really do like the dino. Oh, God, I didn't really. I totally forgot about the spino. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. 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 We're good. We're good. We're good. Oh, <sighs> I totally forgot about him. And there's an otter over there. No. Oh, no. We're not going to be able to get you. I want you. But we got that in the way. And I'm not going to be able to get you because of that in the way. We might be able to get this otter. We might be. You know what? Screw it. Screw it. We're going for it. You know, we'll use an old 2000s term. YOLO, baby. <laughs> In one second, I have just aged by 20 years by saying that. You guys are probably like, nope, he's a dick. I'm done. <laughs> oh, what a wonderful time, early 2000s, with that YOLO shit. Oh, my God. What the hell's wrong with you kids? Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and get this seal. No, 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 no. Piranha's going to kill us. We're dead. We're dead. We're dead. We're dead. I am way too far away. Do we survive? No, 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 no. Okay, so we killed one, but then the piranha ate it. And I have no food. Okay, this was stupid. This was actually really stupid. Okay, we need to make a couple of quick changes here. We need to make a campfire. That's what we need to do. And I don't even have the campfire unlocked, so let's go ahead and do that now. Because we need food desperately. We have meat on us. Yeah, let's get that done. Can I make two? Perfect. Sweet. And if the, if the Spino stays over there, kind of, then we should be good if we stay in this area and then maybe we can get the Otter. The Otter's over, God, oh my God, the Otter's like right in the middle of us. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Oh, this isn't good. We're gonna have to leave this area relatively soon, but you know, whatever, it is what it is. All right, can I finally get back to talking about settings again? <laughs> Okay, so, just to kind of recap. XP, staggered. Uh, harvesting, 2.0. Next stat, uh, next change that I've done. This is a level 15 dodo, goodbye. Uh, next stat I've changed is we are on official loot because loot is really overpowered in this game. So, uh, yeah, we're going to stick with 1.0 loot. Uh, I think that's fine. I know in the past we've kind of dabbled with, like, increasing it and stuff, but, you yeah, know, it gets a little too excessive in my opinion. So, yeah, 1.0 official, we'll, we're totally fine there. Uh, the next stat that I've changed is, um, I'm trying to think, what, what else have I changed? Nope, these are in opposite order, so let's go ahead and change that. I think we're good with this, nope, this way. Yeah, there we go, okay. Uh... 
I think for the most part, everything's pretty much the same as what you guys have seen in the previous videos and stuff like that. So if you guys watch a settings video, 90% of everything is still the same. It's just, you know, a couple changes here and there. Again, nothing too excessive, but of course, do want to bring those up and everything like that. So if I remember anything else uh, later in this video that I changed, I'll uh, let you guys know about it. But I think for the most part, everything oh that's what it is taming that's what it is that's the last one uh taming originally has always been at 5.0 and my whole reason behind that has been basically just i don't want to be standing around for hours taming something right but the downside is we can pretty much tame anything with mutton and like measure bearers that's it like we don't even need kibble let's be honest so I dropped it down to 3.0 for that reason. It basically forces me to use kibble if we want high tier dinos at high levels. So for example, with 3.0, if I went ahead and tamed a Thyla with just cooked mutton, I think it loses, it goes from 224, which is a max level at 150, down to 217. So we do lose levels. Like it's basically like perfect taming a 145 at that point. So that's the best example I can give because Thylas are like really finicky and everything like that. But long story short, it forces us to get into the kibble game. And I know you guys know I'm not a fan of the kibble game, but I am personally forcing myself to get that done. So maybe you guys are excited about it. Maybe it's not that big of a deal. I don't know. But for me, it's going to be a big change, but I'm really excited to check it on out and everything. Now, of course, let's figure out base location because I'm going to be honest. I was thinking about making a base up there, right there, right where that like little housey thing, housey thing. Nice. Right where that little like cave system is right there. Um, that awning, that overpass, that uh, we're going to just keep going with synonyms here. Uh, that, yeah, that's all I got, actually. But, yeah, we got this guy. Yeah, I can't get that otter, guys. I really can't. Because you know what? We're going to get the otter. Like, we'll we'll put one feed in. And then it'll want a second feed. And it'll go right next to the spino there. And then we'll be screwed. So, unfortunately, guys, I apologize. We're not going to be able to go for the otter, but I think you guys will agree, agree with me at the end of the day. So let's pick up the campfires. We're going to have to move here because, yeah, this guy's going to come in pretty quickly, I can only assume. But yeah, I think what we're going to do is, yeah, you know what? I got another spot. We are going to have to cross over here, but I don't think it's going to really affect the spino. As long as I can get across here, we're all good. All right, we got a couple of coelacanths or colacanths, whatever the fuck they're called. And we're good. Okay. All right, we're on this side, sweet. We're actually going to head towards that white drop, but I don't think we're actually going to be able to get to it. But we are going to be heading in that direction. And let's see. Yeah, no. All right, goodbye, Spino Valley. Uh, unfortunately, we won't be doing our first base here. But it is what it is. No big deal. We'll kind of just uh, roll with it. And uh, yeah, we'll figure things out. All right, we're getting pretty close to the base location here, or at least the future base location. And we got a dodo. What level are you? You're level 25. Yeah, you're good enough. I need the XP. We are currently heating, so we're going to... All right. There we go. Uh, so we're going to have to jump in the water here in a minute or two in order to cool ourselves down. But let's get that let's get that spear back. Oh, my God. I can't believe I missed that. Where did the spear go? You know what? I rightfully deserve to lose that spear. <laughs> I completely missed point blank. Ah, All right. What level are you? Oh, there was another dodo. We must have passed that a little while ago. Uh, what level are you, buddy? You're level 70. Not bad. I am not going to go after you right now because you'll go on the run and then, oh my god, there's just like a sea of dodos in front of us. Cool. Okay. There's only two, but it's more than one, I guess. And... Gotcha. All right. Yeah, I don't know if I'm a fan of that dusty bit. It's almost like every dino on the island here is like a taxidermy. <laughs> it's just... It's just like this fluff comes out of them. You know what I mean? It's just this weird uh, level 20 also with a baby. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm going to keep you alive. Yeah, that's fine. Because I think if you kill the parent and there's a baby around, the baby will end up despawning if the parent's not around for a little while. Like if I kind of just, eh, let's experiment with it. Screw it. We're all about experiments here. There we go. So technically I could t uh, tame you now. I could actually imprint you the whole nine. We're not going to do that. You're level 20 orange. We got to remember that. Level 20 orange. And uh, we'll come back down to this area in a little bit and we'll see if it's still here. Uh, let's go ahead and put that next um, stat into weight yet again. Currently level five. We're just going to keep going in the weight department, especially since we don't have 
movement speed or anything at this point. Is this a dodo egg? It is. Yeah, screw it. We're going to take it. Will the baby come after me or no? No, nah, I don't think so. Okay. But yeah, since we don't have movement speed or anything like that, we're just going to go ahead and just keep pumping up weight. That's going to be the biggest stat for the beginning of this. We'll do a little bit. We'll dabble in stamina for a little bit here, here and there, of course. But uh, yeah, the biggest worry, too, is going to be the heat right now. I really wish there was an otter down here. <laughs> I know that's not a thing, but still, we have so many. Look at this. We have so many coelacanths, coelacanths. Yes, I can. Uh, all over here, and it would be great to be able to just tame it right... What is that? Oh, wait, what is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? Oh, it's a dill. What the hell? Why is there a dillo in the water? Huh. By the way, guys, I'm not really too worried about oxygen. Uh, oxygen has been increased from 100 to 150, so... Yeah, we're actually pretty good. Yeah, let's kill this dillo. Unless it's a high-level dillo. Nah, we're gonna kill it regardless. We don't really have anything to be able to tame it. So let's see if we can get you... Yeah, I'm starting to get hurt here. That's the problem because of the heat. Come on, buddy. Yeah, I'm gonna let you turn around. There we go, level 10. Sweet. I don't know if you guys do it too, but whenever something's gonna attack... We gotta get back in the quarter. Oh my god. Uh, whenever anything's gonna attack or anything like that, I don't know about you, but... Like, as I'm talking and everything, I end up, like, moving my head back. I move it to the side. I move it to the other side. <laughs> I don't know if you guys do that during, uh, like, playing games and stuff like that. Like, um, yeah, no, I do it all the time. Any game that I play, I always end up doing something stupid like that. So, of course, you guys won't see any of that. But you may hear it with my voice. Like, randomly, it'll be here or randomly, it'll be over here. I don't know if anything's going to change based on this. But, yeah, it's kind of funny that I literally just, got, you know. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below if you guys do that too. But we are here at our new base location. And yeah, it's going to be right in this little... Hey, the heat wave went away. Sweet, perfect timing. It's right in this little cove here. I actually kind of like this because... What's really cool about this area is you have this little bit of water here, right? Um, like, it's like... I don't know, you get like this little... <laughs> this is going to be such a stretch. It's a little oasis right next to the water. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I thought it was a little further up. I thought it was a little right here, but that's fine. But yeah, look, we can just have this nice tree in the background. That'll be kind of our view. I mean, this is nice. We're in the shade. I like this. I like this spot a lot. And we're going to keep that tree there as long as we can. I do not want to break that tree. Uh, if we do, we end the series. No, I'm kidding. That's <laughs> that's a bad joke. <laughs> Given the track record of the channel. Um, anyways, yeah, let's keep going here. Let's uh, start gathering some materials. I think we'll start gathering. Uh, you know what? In order to make the structures, we're going to need thatch, which means we're going to need a lot of thatch. Uh, we're going to need a little bit of fiber and not that much wood. So I think we're going to go ahead and we have eight points here. That's the problem. Do I do storage boxes or do I do foundations? I feel like storage boxes give us more XP. Is there a better option? No, there's not. Okay. But we do need to start making our base. So you know what? I think it's better if we go this route. Because now I can make the doorway and the walls. And I can make the foundation too. So yeah. I think that's a better route at the end of the day. Even though it's probably not going to get us as much XP. I still think it's going to work out a little bit better here. You know what? I totally forgot about that. Uh, yeah, when you make thatch structures, they actually weigh more than what the materials weigh. So, yeah, we're going to be getting encumbered here in a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and start organizing my hot bar here, and we can go ahead and start dropping a little bit of this stuff. We can actually eat all this, all the berries and stuff. That's going to give us a little bit of food. Uh, and hopefully, we can get that bar just straight back up. I think we're also going to have that dodo egg, too. It's only three pounds, but at the same time... Uh, I mean, we got to kind of work with every ounce of weight that we have right now. So I'm going to be eating more stuff than I probably should. 
what's really cool is we also have all these new berries and stuff like that like the magenta berry the it's like a cyan berry kind of thing and it's yeah no it's actually really cool that we got all this new stuff uh they have added a lot of new dyes colors to the game and i'm gonna be honest it is a little excessive but it's not a bad thing either i mean they added so many colors and it's like the colors that you can find on dinos now is absolutely crazy but at the same time the the amount of dyes that you can make is also a little overwhelming but like in a good way you guys will see that eventually and all right where do we want to put our base though because again i want to be kind of all right let's do a whole let's back up here let's kind of look at the area from afar and kind of get an idea you know we'll do that whole painter's thing where you put out the thumb and you kind of look at the area oh my god that looks great already okay so i'm gonna probably go as center as i can to the tree so the middle of the tree is gonna be kind of the center of the base so i'm gonna try to line that up the best i can so like there yeah yeah, I'm liking right there. Yeah, one, two, three, four. And then we're actually going to put another one here. And the idea is that eventually we're going to go ahead and put a like a ramp or something here. The entrance to the base is going to be back here and it's going to be a little two by two. Nothing too crazy. We'll make it nice and uh, nice and easy here. So we got a total of five thatch uh, walls as of right now. We'll need to make a couple more. I think we'll need a total of eight. We're going to go ahead and pretty much just put windows on the one side and then we're going to close it up on the other sides because we don't necessarily need uh windows or anything out this way i don't think uh i need a few more one two three four i think something like that yeah okay let's go ahead and do that uh what are we gonna need though okay we have plenty of fiber we have no thatch and no wood okay wow all right i really don't want to go ahead and knock down these trees but at the same time i'm hoping that they're gonna grow back uh We'll see what happens. It's kind of close enough to the base. Yeah, that's going to be what the base... Eee. Eee. Oh, okay, now I kind of see... Eee. Yeah, I'm fine with that. You know what? It's our first base. No big deal. We don't have to go too, too crazy with it. All right, let's go ahead and get a little bit more thatch. All right, how many walls can I make? I only need... I feel like I need three. I feel like I don't need... Okay, so I need the two backs and I need the two sides. So four. One, two, three, four. All right, we have 10 spears. Let's go ahead and just repair all this stuff just to have everything completely capped. Uh, do we have any damage on our, we do. Ah, eh, it's not that necessary right now, that's okay. Uh, we got this Lystra right here. What level are you? Level 10, no, no, I can't, no. <laughs> Sorry, buddy, I do need the hide and I do need the XP. Yep, I made an extra one. Damn it. <laughs> All right, it's fine. You know what's really cool, too? When you demolish this kind of stuff, I love the way that everything demolishes. Look at that. Now, of course, it does that whole, like, weird... No, it's not doing it. It's not doing it. That's kind of weird. I think if I look away or go away, it'll uh, go ahead and get rid of it. But, uh, yeah, no, I really like how the structures demolish and stuff like that. Oh, there you go. It went away. Uh, let's go ahead and put this back on just so, yeah, we got a little bit of, uh, you know what? I could have used that towards a door. Oh, we can't unlock the door yet. Okay. Sounds good. Cool. Okay. So that's the start of our base and everything, but right now, yeah, we need another level or two. So we're going to have to go out on a bit of a killing spree here. So, ah, uh, that would be great. The Pteranodon, but... I would need bolas in order to kill it. And we can't do that just yet. Same thing with the Parasaur. And we can't get to the other side. That is the problem. <laughs> I can't get to the other side here. The way I would have to get to the other side is like make a ramp or go across the water. And I don't want to do that. So I guess we're going to venture down the beach a bit. I guess we're going to go back towards uh, our Spino Cove, I guess we'll call it. But yeah, yeah. I guess that's what we'll have to do. Hopefully we can find that Dillo that we saw. Oh, no, we killed that Dillo. Uh, oh, you know what? We're coming back this way. Let's take a look for that Dodo. The level 20 baby. Is it still here? Or because the mom is gone and because we've kind of put it out of render range, it should also be gone too at this point, I think. I'm pretty sure I have that right. Uh, but we'll see here in a little bit. 
Yeah, no. I was about to say, yeah, the dodo's gone, but no. Is that it right there, or is that an adult? Oh, that looks kind of small, doesn't it? I wonder if we didn't officially put it out of render. Yeah, because it's right here. Level 20. Okay, well, I don't know. Maybe that is a thing, actually. I saw that in the water right there. Uh, that little red thing, and I was like, oh my god, it's a fish out of the water! Let's get it, let's get it! it that That's a spino egg. <laughs> no, thank you. Uh, that would not be the type of fish that we want. Uh, that would also really be interesting, because then we'd be on the run from a spino, and yeah, it's gonna catch us, let's put it that way. I do want to get this kill with the dodo. I know we're feeling a bit uh, adventurous here, if you will, <laughs> but what level are you? Level 20, perfect. Go. Goodbye. Give me that XP. All right. Let's see, what else? As much as I would love to make storage bins and stuff right now, I think our move is just to finish up the base. Uh, as much as I would love to start getting storage in, as much as I would love to get that otter and everything too. Ooh, a dimorph. That would be kind of interesting. I, I don't think I've ever used a dimorph, really. That would be kind of interesting. Ooh, we got a couple dillos over here. That's going to get us the level. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. Chase on a poor Mo Shops, too. Uh, let's see if we can get save the Mo Shops. Maybe it'll be a good one, too. Yep, here we go. Perfect. Jump out of the way. Also bob my head, because that's what I do. Nope, 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 nope. One more hit from you. And one more hit from you. Nope. Nope. Oh. <laughs> I did move back a little bit when they attacked me. <laughs> all right there we go got a little more hide got a little more meat uh we'll take a look at the mo shops here i think this is the one it was attacking what about you what level are you you're level 80 which is pretty good but again now nah, i'm gonna take that xp if i can oh you stood still for a second that was great nope <sighs> there go cool. all right give me more hide all right mo shops what level are you? And by the way, let's go ahead and get that level on us. Uh, we are currently level six and we have all of ours into weight. We can unlock the sloped wall and the stairs and the thatch roof. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. That's going to take six points to do. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll be missing a door for right now, guys. It is what it is. Uh, I just want to get the base fully completed. Oh, I was level 15. No. And I want cooked prime meat. Yeah, screw you, buddy. All right. What do I need for this? I just need a little more wood. Okay, it's fine. We're down one spear. That's okay. I know I said at the beginning of the video that I do like to always be fully equipped with this kind of stuff, but I think we're okay for right now. Let's go ahead and kill you. Maybe we can get that next level before heading back to base, but we'll see what else is around here. Let's go back into third person. Again, guys, apologies with the switching over from first and third person. I wish that was a quicker way that you can do it, but unfortunately, you guys are going to get very familiar with this screen right here. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> maybe it was you they were attacking. Oh, you're a 35. You suck, dude. Never mind. Uh, we got a dodo over here. I would attack the Mo Shops, but they're going to go on the run, and I would prefer to wait till we have bolas. And then that's when we would attack it. Oh, uh, what level are you? You're level five. Okay. Kill you. You're level 30. You got a baby. Yeah, no. Not gonna kill you. Not gonna kill you, because... Eh, you know what? Screw it. We need the XP. Can't really be picky choosy right now. There we go. I can see that XP bar at the bottom is barely filling at this point. And oh my god, we're level friggin' six. <laughs> <laughs> Usually this is what you do from levels like 1 to 20. Just go on a killing spree and it'll take you like 10 minutes to get all the way to level uh, 20 when you're on uh, official 1.0. So <laughs> XP is really taking a toll, but guys, I'm okay with it. I know I did this to myself, but I'm excited. I'm good. I'm glad that this is the way, to be honest. I would rather a much slower experience than... Hey, by level two, we already have ourselves metal tools, all that kind of stuff. And we're going for Thylas by, by episode two. You know what I mean? So, yeah, no, no. Let's let's go ahead. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't know what you're attacking. Oh, you're attacking a Lystro. Get over here. There we go. What? There we go.
and don't worry, guys. I'm. Ooh, this is a 145 dodo. <gasps> okay. 145, you're definitely sticking around. We may be taming you. What about you? You're an 85 male. You're not going to die on the first hit, though, so... Not yet. We'll take you, but not yet. What level are you? You're a level 20. Yeah, I'll take that XP. Thank you. All right, what about you? You're a level 15. That's an easy kill. All right, now I hope you two aren't in range of each other. Yes, okay, cool. Missed. All right, so now we can tame the 145, and we're going to go ahead and do that, honestly. I mean, it's a 145 dodo. Where's that dodo egg, by the way? Oh, it's right next to me. There we go. All right, back to third person we go, and then we'll quickly go back to first person. <laughs> now, you know what? With this one, we're going to have to punch this thing out. So you're still mate boosted. Why? Oh, I see over here. Okay, what level are you? 145 and a 90. Unfortunately, the 145 is going to go on the run. Oh, shoom. We got a Baryonyx right here. Um. Hi. Okay. I do want the Dodo, though. <laughs> We're still going for the Dodo, damn it. Okay, if the Baryonyx is up there, we may be okay down here. Trying to see if you can get headshots. Yeah, you can. Cool. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my God. Ichthyornis, are you kidding me? You're going to attack me, aren't you? No, 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 no. no. Ah, just got my food, too. No, 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 no. Okay, where are you? We get to play this little mini game. Um, yeah, no, you're coming after me again. No. Oh, my God. I hate these guys. Going to be playing this fun little... There we go. <sighs> All right, give me my spears. Got a lot of uh, hide out of that, though. All right, where is our dodo? There you are. All right. As we were. Starting to get a little bloody. Starting to get pretty bloody. Please knock out. I don't want to kill you. I might kill this thing. It's out. Sweet. All right. Awesome. All right. I mean, I'm going to be honest. I wasn't expecting a 145 Dodo as our first team, but uh, yeah. Okay. I guess we're going to do that. Unfortunately, the tracker doesn't come on until we put food in it, which kind of stinks, I'm going to be honest. But <sighs> what do we do here? What do we do? Should I put the food on now with the Baryonyx in the area? Or should I let that food go down? Nah, screw it. Let's just throw the food on. It's not going to be a perfect tame or anything like that. It'll lose a little bit of effectiveness. I don't know where that Baryonyx is, but right when this guy gets tamed, we're picking it up and we're going on the run. We are running back to base. <laughs> All right, come on, come on, come on. 29%. We are already down one level. Quite honestly, too, it really didn't have a lot of health left. It only had 38.4. So two more hits. That's all it would have taken. Wow. Okay. Got to keep an eye out on that Baryonyx. That was kind of random. I mean, I know that... Oh, no. The Baryonyx is over here now? Really? How did it move over here? Or is that the Parasaur from before? No, it moved over there. Intr oh, no. So we're going to have a Baryonyx on one side of us and a Spino on the other. <laughs> Come on, 97. All right, so a perfect team would have been 217. 
There we go. Dodo is ours. So 217, it lost three levels. That's fine. I'm totally cool with that. I'm going to put those back in my hot bar. We are picking you up, and we're going to stay in third person. But yeah, we need to run. Oh, wait. I can't move. Oh, no. With... With the Dodo in hand, I cannot move any faster than this, period. So there's no point in doing sprint speed or anything right now. Uh, where is the... Oh, shit. This is the scariest part because it's a Spino. It's easy to see. Oh, shit. Where did the Spino go? Oh, it's over there. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh man guys okay so 145 dodo not too shabby there um we're gonna get back to base and finish uh finish building that thing but at this point how many points do we have we only have one point we are pretty close to leveling though so we should be able to get to level seven by the end of the day here we could go for the spino egg but then it's gonna react <laughs> oh that's right the dodos no you can't carry the dodos in the water come on buddy come on come on Okay, good. Whew. Let's go. Okay, here we go. But yeah, so by the time we get back to base, we should be able to finish everything up. It's really not too bad at this point. We only need to put on the roof, pretty much. I mean, we're not going to have... Oh, my God. A Thary? <laughs> oh, man. This game is really just throwing a lot at us right now. We got a Baryonyx on the one side. We got a Spino on the other. Now we got a Thary. Oh, my God. All right. All right, well, I think our focus right now is build up the base, kind of hunker down. Uh, we got to get to the level where I can get a raft going. I would personally love, and I kind of wish they did this with ASA, I'm going to be honest. I wish they went ahead and added the canoe. Let's be honest, the canoe should really be on the island. <laughs> and yes, I am also mentioning the canoe because that's at level 7. <laughs> I would love to have access to the canoe right now honestly that would be absolutely huge for us and i don't know what it is i never really thought that genesis 2 worked with the canoe you know what i mean like i don't know i just feel like every single thing that they come out with kind of has to for lack of a better term vibe with the map you know and I don't know. I just never really thought... I understand the uh, net projectile and all that kind of stuff. Although I don't agree with it. I do wish I had it here on the island. But it kind of stinks that for the simple canoe, we're going to have to wait two years. You know what I mean? It's crazy. I don't know how long it is. I think it's two years. But I could be... <sighs> There's two Ichthyornises over here now. Oh, no. There's one literally right against our base. Uh, this sucks. All right, all right, all right. Dodo, you're going to have to go over here, buddy. Uh, how do I do this again? It's X or is it B? Nope. Oh, there we go. It's right bumper. Okay, we'll put you there. All right, guys. I'm going to definitely die. Oh. You know, they kind of actually have buggered off a bit, so. All right. Let's head back over this way. Let's get back into the house. Yeah, they've kind of moved away from us. Unless there's a third one. No, okay. Nah, they've moved a little... <sighs> nah, they're going to be back. Yeah, no, I got to get rid of them now. Oh, God, there's another one. Oh, okay. <laughs> Tell me he's attacking. No, 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 Dodo, 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 Dodo. Do. Where's the Dodo? <gasps> no, he took my Dodo. What the hell is that? No, 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 no. Okay. Wow, I killed him right away. Uh, no, 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 no. Get, get over here. Okay. We already killed one with a headshot, which is crazy. There we go. Cool. Okay, two out of the three. I did not realize the Ichthyornises can pick up the Dodos. That was scary as shit. <laughs> Come on, you fucker. All right. Wow, I'm surprised I actually got that in. Cool. Headshot. Sweet. All right. Give me your body. Where's your other body? All right. Where's the third one? Uh, we're going to go into Orbit Camera for this one because... Oh, the body's right next to me. <laughs> I don't know what it is in ASA. It is really hard to see the bodies here. I don't know what it is. Uh, you know what? The Dodo might be a good, like, trap for them. You know what I mean? Because if they're going to go ahead and pick the dodo up... Oh, you're pretty beat up, though. No, no, no. I'm going to move you back to base. I don't want to sacrifice... Oh, my God. I killed another one. 
So what are we at? Four Dota? I mean, four uh, Ichthyornis is killed already? Oh my god. You know, you got pretty beat up over that. Jesus. Okay. Yeah, I gotta get rid of this other Ichthyornis. Which is gonna be really tough to do, but it has to be done. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of you. Luckily, they've all been level 10 and 15 so far, so maybe that luck will continue. Oh, it's like in the water. That's weird. Okay, come on. Oh, I need you to come over here. Come on. Come on. I need you to aggro to me. Perfect. Um. Oh, come on. He's right there. Yes. Wow. I don't know why, but that worked out for us really well. I'm not going to complain. Yes, that's a bug that needs to be fixed. <laughs> I'm okay with that bug for right now, though. Yes. Okay, cool. We got ourselves another level. Let's go ahead and put that into weight. So we are currently level uh, level seven with 160 weight, and we now have access to... <sighs> Except I can't make it. Damn it. Okay. 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 We can't make it, but we do have access to the bed. I think at this point... Let's go ahead and finish up the base here. Now, we have 238 uh, fiber, 66, high, uh, 66 thatch, and four wood. So let's go ahead and knock down a few more trees here and get this done with. Let's get our base fully built. There we go, guys. Oh, my God. Look at this absolute masterpiece. Oh, man. What a great looking base. Really excited about this. Uh, guys, it is pretty much the end of day one here. And I think uh, this is where we're going to wrap up the episode. Uh, overall, we ended up having a pretty interesting experience here so far in Ark Survival Ascended. Got our first team today. Got ourselves a female 145 Dodo, which is now level 214. Absolutely awesome, especially looking at Kibble and everything. Uh, got a few other interesting things going on. We are in Spino Cove. We got ourselves a Spino over there. On the other side, we have a Bar Baryonyx, and then, of course, right above us somewhere over here, uh, there's a Therry. So this is going to be an interesting experience for us, but I'm really excited to tackle it and see how the series goes. But guys, that is going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, take a second, make sure to smash that like button. On top of that, if you guys are enjoying the ASA content, you're excited to see more, take a second, hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel out. But guys, that's going to wrap this one up. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next one.